What's up guys, Sauce here. Hope your day is going well. So today we'll be talking about keyboard macros. So what is a macro? A keyboard macro is a programmed sequence of keystrokes that can be triggered by a single key, essentially allowing you to automate a repetitive task by pressing just one button. So for example, if you type in your email a lot of times when you're doing tasks, you can automate that with macros. And that's just one example. There's many different things you can use macros for and they're really useful. I use macros on my stream deck. So for example, I have some of my logins on my stream deck. So instead of having to type it the whole way out, I have like one key press and it types it out for me, which is basically a macro. So if you have a keyboard that's compatible with VIA, you can use VIA to create macros. Auto hotkey is also another way you can create macros. But today we'll be using the Ala F75 for this example. So on the macros page, which is the fourth tab, you'll see macro edit panel. And then right here, you'll see it's there's a plus button, which means you can add a, a new macro. You can create a photo of macros as well. So let's do add macro and let's say email. So if I type in my email, a lot of times I can just do an email macro. So after creating one, you can see you have this plus key here and you can add, you can manually add things in or you can click this record button and then record your key presses. So I'll do this one. So record. And now since I've recorded a keyboard macro, I can go ahead and assign it to a key. And let's go ahead and do the FN1 layer. And then we'll do, let's just say the A key. Uh, so we'll go A key, macro, email, double click it, then save. All right, so if we click FN and then A, we should essentially have our macro typed in for us. So now here you'll see if I click FN A, it'll start to type out that macro. And now let's do another example. And for this example, we'll do open in maybe an app. So maybe let's do Steam. So we'll type in Steam. So this is the Steam Deck macro and what it does is click the Windows button, type in Steam and then enter. So if we go ahead and save that, go ahead and go to Steam for macro S, save it, sackle one time. If we click FNS, this should happen. There's actually a better way to do that macro. If you go ahead and search Steam, and then go to the open file location and right click and view the properties, you can actually set a shortcut key for that. So I have it as control alt S, which is probably faster than clicking FN and um, S cause you'd probably do it with one hand. But this is how, this is technically also a macro. So if I were to click control S, control alt S, Steam should open up just like that. And if you wanted to get more technical, you can create a batch file that opens like websites for you. So this is a batch file that starts Chrome and goes to sauce.shop. Go ahead and go to my website and uh, check my website out. So this would basically open sauce.shop. So echo off, start Chrome, go to this website. If I double click this, it should open Chrome and go straight to that website. Right click on this, click show more options, create a shortcut, and we'll right click again, go to properties and the shortcut key. So go to shortcut, shortcut key. Let's do control alt S and apply and save. And then if we click control alt S right now, it would do that shortcut for us. And that's how you would basically create a macro. And that's basically all I have for macros today. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions about macros. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.